<laughs> have you known your whole life that you have dense boobs? I think as I grew older, they got even denser. Are they filled with milk? No, they're not filled with they, milk. What kind of stupid ass statement is that? No offense. For a bright guy, that was a dumb statement. Welcome to Sex Talk with my mom. I'm Cam Potter. And I'm Karen Lee Potter. That's my mother. And that's my son. We chat about sex on a weekly basis and all the things you typically don't talk about with a parent. We like to make the uncomfortable conversations comfortable. So strap in, strap on, (laughs) and get ready for the wild ride. Welcome to Sex Talk with my mom. I'm Cam Potter. And I'm Karen Lee Potter. We are chatting about sex on a weekly basis for your listening pleasure in our own discomfort. Oh, yes. We'll do anything just for a laugh. I want to start off the show, first of all, by welcoming Dale, our producer, videographer, editor extraordinaire. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) He's he's just so much like the poters. What the fuck is it? What was that? It's the tiniest little hello you can ever get. It's like a mouse (laughs) hello. What was that? Like a meek little bunny rabbit. I Ooh, love it. Hopping around. <laughs> okay. So I would also like to start off the show by saying thank you to Uber Lube for Uber pre- Lube to save the day. That's right. They're our favorite lubricant. They're presenting this segment called Lube It Up. Lube It Up, presented by Uber Lube, where we get to ask a question just to break the ice. Mom? Are we, we going to talk about how much I love Uber Lube? Eventually. Okay, well, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. It's my favorite lube. I guess we're getting to that now. Okay, never mind. Go on. Okay, so the question that I wanted to pose to you. Okay. And Dale. Oh, boy. Is what is one thing you do when no one's watching? Oh, my (laughs) God. What was the E? (laughs) What were you squealing like a pig? Yeah. (laughs) Jeez. The hell was that? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited you're, about this you're question. You're excited, little fella, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going with Dale first. Dale, so. what is one thing you do when no one's watching? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What do you do? <laughs> Fuck a pig? What is that? You squealing like that. <laughs> Give us the truth, Dale. Truth. You know what? I, I've been... Uh, my, my roommate's been out of town for a little while. Yeah. Um, I've been uh, just cruising the house in my underwear it's been great you uh, wild thing you, you dirty yeah. you dirty, dirty dog. dog you yeah. exhibitionist i love that that's so, great you're yeah. not worried about neighbors seeing no nah, I, I don't care if they're they have to kind of look up like if they're <laughs> yeah. if they're outside their apartment they have to look you know pretty up and in so if they're if they're looking you know that's that's on them you know? yeah it is on them and i, I hope they do look because that's a body to, to see <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it for the neighbors you know thank you yeah all right mother well, masturbate, of course. <laughs> masturbate, of course. Well, what did you expect? I expected uh, that that was a pretty obvious answer. So oh, I'm supposed to come up with something not obvious. Well, luckily, the sneaky freaks chimed in when I okay, asked that, them. What do they have to say? Well, do you want to hear my... Oh, I, I guess I, we can wrap up with my No, answer. I would like to know what yours is. I, uh, When no one's around, I fall asleep in the most bizarre places. Oh, like on your Zubaton or whatever Seriously, that's called. I, I, yes, I will f- basically any if I reach a point of exhaustion during the day, wherever I am, I'll just lie down. It could be in the middle of like the living room floor, like and, a cat, like a cat, and or just pass the fuck out. The, my legs splayed wherever. Wait, so, so what is I look it? like an insane person. Well, you always do though. But first of all, the what question do you mean is, I always my do. question is, why is it something you do when no one's looking? Well, I guess I do that when you're around. I see that all the time. I took a picture of him and put it on Instagram. (laughs) No, but when I'm alone, it's in really, it really is bizarre in bizarre places, I'd say. You know, just like randomly when you're like hanging off a ledge? Between like on the the precipice between my bathroom and the like laundry room. Do you know I hate when that happens when you're like like reading something on your phone and then you're so tired that you all by accident touch the screen and then delete everything or what yeah i i've never <laughs> had that happen <laughs> have you dale i can't say i've had that happen. okay okay never mind well, but you know what i'm saying when you're, you're intensely oh, doing yeah, it and yeah. then you fall asleep and you're like shit yeah i did that and spilled water across your couch the last time yeah i wasn't happy about that well uh, let me read some of the 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 sneaky freaks yeah i'm kind of scared of the responses okay so some of them one of them captain megan said 
I sing very loudly. One time I thought I was alone at work. Three hours later, I find my boss had been there and had heard me sing Lady Gaga tunes all day. Oh. We got Cass who said one thing I'm terrified of. My husband walking in on isn't what you'd think. I'll get my titty in a grip like a cheeseburger and pluck around that needs plucking around the nips. Oh my God. It's such an unflattering thing to witness even if body hair is totally natural. Oh my God, that is awesome. Yep. We got Nate who said, I was singing my heart out the other day. So then, so sure, I was the only one in the park. Then I turn around and there's a woman right there just staring at me. I tried to play casual like nothing had just happened. So everyone sings when no one's looking. Okay, let me do some rapid fire ones. This, these are amazing. Alyssa says, Always picking my panties out of cre- various crevices. My booty likes to eat them, apparently. I actually had the same thought. <laughs> I, I actually did. I was thinking that, like, pull, yeah. pulling the underwear out of the crotch. I do that when people are around. I know, in front of old men on airplanes. That's exactly right. Andrea said, I smell my own farts. I also do that when, when people are around. Do you, right. you agree with that? I, I have smelled it, too, and it's not pleasant. Erica Erica said you would ask this. <laughs> uh, and then she said that she does uh, boudoir pictures alone oh. by herself. Well, that's kind of fun. It is pretty fun. We got Megan who said I like to slap my own ass. That's kind of fun, too. You're just walking around slapping away? Slap it. Slap it. Amanda says when my man is looking in bed, I spread my butt cheeks to fart so it doesn't make a sound. <laughs> Can I just say that no one yet has said masturbating? Wait, Daniel says, I put my dick in a pocket pussy and moan. Oh, there you go with the masturbation. That's a masturbation. That's something to do one on one. We got Sage who says, picking a wedgie, of course. Hand sanitizer, though, afterwards. (laughs) Not washing, not soap and water, (laughs) hand sanitizer? That's that's really gross. Okay. It's true. I mean, these these responses are unbelievable. Should I keep going? Yeah, keep going. Taryn says, you mean other than having complete mental breakdowns over the state of the world? It's definitely cringy TikTok dance trends in front of the mirror for me. Well, so guilty as charged on that one, too. Well, you do that in front of anyone. Yeah, that's true. But it's also interesting that she's doing this alone, and yet she's putting it out in public. Yeah, because you want to be free and easy. Like, I tried doing it at a pool, and everyone's watching me when I'm trying to learn how to twerk and do TikTok. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be, having, be self-conscious, so it's better to do it without people watching. That's a good point. Ray says, in my nightstand, I have a secret Ziploc bag with Oreos when, that when my husband is in the shower or taking out pup on her nighttime walk, I have a good night cookie or two alone. You devil. You devil. <laughs> we got some Oreos. Ray is just sticking in there. Wild thing, you. Peter says, get a refill. Beer, in parentheses. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. No, no one's looking. Peter, when no one's looking, he's he a dirty Sweet. dog gets a beer. Yep. Amanda's back with another one. When I'm with someone and I absolutely have to pass gas, when they're not <laughs> looking and the coast is clear, I will spread my butt cheeks and go for it so there's no sound that comes out. It works like a charm. What is with the spreading butt cheeks thing? <laughs> is that a sneaky freak thing or is this like a new trend? <laughs> Alicia says, I love to sing and dance with my dogs. That's the cutest fucking thing in the world. That is cute. Why, why, People why love to sing by themselves. Why wouldn't they do it in public? I agree. That's what I'm saying. If you saw someone I'm the only one who, besides the pocket pussy, that came flat out and said masturbate. Listen, Lisa says she probably, she twerks or takes selfies when she's alone. Okay. That I see. I understand. Got a lot of those selfies. L says, what podcast? <laughs> what? <laughs> this person has no <laughs> clue. Why the fuck? Who this person received a text from a random number saying, Hey, what is one thing you do alone when no one's looking? And then at first he had to find out what podcast it was before he responded. Yes. Okay. Uh Rachel says I pick my nose and sometimes touch my feet. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Colette says when she's alone, she likes to listen to our podcast. That was the winner. Bing, 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 bing. Mario says Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's a very hostile response. Why, do, why are you part of our text little line if you fucking get me a fuck you? Fuck you. Fuck you too. Tom says, massage my prostate. And there you have it. Oh, we're sticking Lube our little up. finger in the ass. So, you know, thank we you, Uber f- Lube, because he probably used Uber Lube before he stuck the finger in the ass. 
we actually have a, a glowing review of Uber Lube given to us by oh, our sneaky freak patron, that. Frank. Well, shall I play that? Play it. Okay, here's the testimonial. Uber Lube did save my day. It's amazing. Uh, my boyfriend loves it. Anyone who is not my boyfriend loves it. It's just smooth. It's easy. It looks great. It looks expensive. People see that glass jar and they're like, oh, you wanted to pay. You cared about my rectum. And God bless Uber Lube. Thank you so much. I love it. One other question about fisting. Is that something you would use Uber Lube for? I think you have to use Uber Lube for it. There's no other option. <laughs> This Frank loves fisting. <laughs> Uber <laughs> love to, to save, save the, the day. day. Good for oral, anal, and vaginal penetration. And fisting. Any sexual thing you want to be doing, get a little layer of lubricant made with simple ingredients. Just high-grade silicone and vitamin E. The vitamin E lives a, leaves a nice velvety finish. You love that velvety finish, don't you? I love the velvety finish. I love that it doesn't disrupt your pH balance. It's very body-friendly. You know what I love? Mm doesn't have a sticky feeling and then it doesn't have a terrible taste and an icky smell. That's it's, exactly right. It's all neutral. You wouldn't even know you wouldn't even know that you're using it. You can even use it in water. So big thank you to Uber Lube for presenting the Lube It Up and for making segment such of the a, show. And for making such a great product. That's right. And if you want 10% off and free shipping, go to uberlube.com and enter code MOM at checkout. That's uberlube, U-B-E-R-L-U-B-E dot com and enter code MOM at checkout for 10% off and free shipping. All right, mother, let's dive in. Let's do it. So let's just tell me what's going on in your life. Oh, boy. Yeah, what's well, happening what there, a, mother? What a, what a day this has been. I would call it hashtag leave my boobs alone day. <laughs> why hashtag? I don't know. And why leave your boobs alone? Because they, no one wanted to leave my boobs alone today. They've been felt up by four different women. It's a lot. Four different women? Yes. What's four, going on? So I decided to put all my boob things in one day. What? You're supposed to, yeah. What one, are the boob things? Once a year, you're supposed to get your boobs, you know, the mammogram. The, I have to get ultrasound because I have dense boobs. So I go to get it all done in one day. Started out. Can, the, can I just stop what, you for a second? What? What, what is a dense boob? I am imagining it's not a clear one. It's like when you take an image, it's like full of fibers. I don't know what's inside there. I didn't even look because I was too nervous. I thought I'm going to look and I'm going to see a tumor. You know, I'm Are not... some boobs not dense? They're just kind of like mm. very, there's a lot of air in there or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's air or water or fluids. I don't know what's going on in boobs. I just yeah, know yeah, I did not want to know what's going on in mine because I was too nervous. I'm going to say cancer. You know, I'm freaking out. Wait, hold on. What? Have you known your whole life that you have dense boobs? I think as I grew older, they got even denser. Are they filled with milk? No, they're not filled with they, milk. What kind of stupid ass they, statement is that? No offense. What's, for a bright guy, that was a dumb statement. What's in there? Not milk. It's not like a cow that has udders that is producing milk constantly. What the fuck is in there? I don't know. Tissue. Tissue. Tissue? Not tissues like Kleenex, but tissue like I didn't like think fiber, Kleenex was in there, Mom. Like fibrous tissues. All know? right. All right. Know, so you got the dense boobs. I got the dense boobs, and I just decided I'm going to plan everything in one day, one fell swoop, one building. I go into the gynecologist. First question they ask me, have you been pregnant lately? I go, uh, no. <laughs> wow, well, I said it so loud. I said, I hope not. Oh and what my kind God. of question is that? Then I, <laughs> what kind of question then is they, that? They ask, have you been sexually active this year? I'm like, oh, yeah, like every other year. And she says, well, last year you were not. What? I said, what? Who told you last year I was not sexually active? No way. She goes, well, I'll change that in the computer. Oh, there was a typo. There was a little huge typo. What kind well, of Last year you weren't sexually active? Apparently I was not sexually I think they got my fucking well, I think they got my record in mixed there. up with yours. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was trying to do a little tick-tocking while I was in there writing stuff down, and I didn't realize my headphones weren't on. Oh, no. And it was oh, a no. woman talking about the craziest things she did sexually, and it was really loud, and there's, like, people all throughout the, <laughs> the waiting area. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. What was their response? It was, well, oh, my God. The response was like, what was that? You know, and I quickly turned it off, but it kept going anyway. Anyway. Oh, my God. Uh, you do these things that if I were to do them during the day, I would, it would haunt me. For weeks, I I, it would, it's so cringeworthy, and I, I watch you do these things, and you're like, oh, ah, it's just me doing this it's thing just, again. Yeah, it's just doing TikTok. Anyway, 
they I got so nervous. They take go in the room, take off the your 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 clothes, put on the gown, put the put the opening in the front, your your hands in the back, the tie around the waist. I I got so like verklempt. I didn't know what I was doing. I got so nervous and I couldn't you stand can't it. Put the fucking robe on. It was all a big mess. She comes in, she starts examining. I'm like, why are you doing this? I, and by the way, she starts wanting to do like a vaginal exam. I'm like, wait, what? I don't have any organs. They were all taken out, and she just know that I have no organs. She did it anyway. I got a whole exam. That was boob exam number one. Then I had to go to another place to get boob exam number two. What's going on with because, the boob exams? Because I was on a program because I can save $200 if I go on a program. If they, you let people feel you up? I don't know. She did it too. You become a sex worker? I go, what's going on with the boob? I mean, and then the third one, the, we had a riot with the one who actually gives you a mammogram. She and I are laughing. What do you mean we I, had a riot? I remembered her from last year. What I do, I have a, I have a technique. Okay. I distract them while they're examining me so that they don't focus on anything. So I try to distract them from whatever they're doing. Why? Because I'm nervous and I don't want them to be like, you know, like all of a sudden that, that you see them and you're trying to interpret the frown that they're making if, if they're going in for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? I have this in my... You should talk? You don't... You, you, wait. You are... I have the opposite approach. What is that? There's no one interrupting the doctor <laughs> when they're operating on me. If they're examining any part of me, I don't ask them a question. Afterwards, I fucking nail them with the questions. No, I but don't. But during, no, no chance. No, I am. On, I'm on a, mo- a mission to distract them so that the whole thing gets done very quickly, expediently, and they're not going to. And, and when you make friends with them, they hint at what's going around. Okay? What do you mean they so hint? I, but I asked this one flat out at the end there, the ultrasound, and she was taking a long ass time. And going in like deeper and deeper. And she said, oh, you have dense breasts. Thank you. That's why I'm here. I don't need you to say that. And then I'm starting thinking, why is she not talking? So I'm like, let's talk about her family. Do you, she, she tells me she has twins. And then I'm talking about the twins. And I ask her a question. She thinks I'm talking about my breasts. So, oh my God! She's, 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 she's no answering way. questions. Well, you have dense breasts. I, who needed to hear that again? I did not need to hear that. I was talking about your twins. <laughs> anyway, long story short, <laughs> it, it was a very stressful day for me. But she did say at the end there, "Don't worry, I'm not supposed to say anything, but you're okay." Because she knew I was, I was, I, I'm sweating. I got that they, they put gunk all over your boobs when they're doing the ultrasound. It's like I'm covered in like. The, nastiest stuff they should use uber lube when they do this they should they don't they, anyway it was horrifying and i was covered in that shit and they give you paper towels it wasn't enough she's like oh we ran out of wipes i'm like well meanwhile i'm sticky anyway what i'm just terrified yeah. thinking about that whole day i was traumatized today i'm sorry i'm Hashtag sorry to hear that leave my boobs alone so now you're good for boob touches for the next year hopefully now i gotta worry for two weeks because i gotta wait for the doctor to send a note back that i'm okay yeah, I know. Every year you go through this. Every year, it's very traumatizing. Then they asked me a weird question. By the way, what arm did you have your vaccine in? Oh, interesting. Why? I don't know. I don't either. You don't know what arm you got? And you know what else I don't like? What? When they asked me for a urine sample right after I went to the bathroom. Oh well, you can't do that. That's oh, well, but with me, I can pull out some urine at any time. <sighs> it's not good, mother. All right. Well. You got a lot of you, that was an unloading. Unloading. You unloaded. But on I feel us. so liberated now that I spoke about this. Women sneaky freaks out there, if you have had a mammogram or an ultrasound or someone attacking your breast at all times, let me know. Cam, I just read that guys who ejaculate 21 times a month have a much lower rate of prostate can- cancer. Imagine that. Who would have thought that if you were jerking off your whole life, that it could be a real lifesaver? You guys know I'm not a huge fan of porn. However... Are you a fan of jerking off? I am a fan of jerking off. And I discovered Cam Soda. And I'm telling you, it has rocked my world. I stay up late watching this shit. Past my bedtime. Oh my God, you must love this. It's unbelievable. It's like, what I like about (laughs) it is that it's actual real life women. 24 hours a day you can log on. And it's like you enter your own private strip club. It's unbelievable. With thousands of girls on Cam Soda. You want to see what the hype is all about? Go to camsoda.com slash sex talk to get $20 free with your first purchase. Works great from your phone too. So someone walks in in the house, you can sneak in the bathroom and watch it by yourself. Go to camsoda.com slash sex. Go to cam- <laughs> 
Go to camsoda.com slash sex talk to get your free $20 today. These days, life can be a bit repetitive, Cam. No matter how much we appreciate our partners, having the same type of sex day in and day out can get very boring. And what do you do to spice it up, mother? Satisfier just released new app-enabled vibrators that allow you to spice things up with their vibes. You can take control or give up control. That's right. Satisfier has a new line of products that is Bluetooth enabled so you can connect your phone to the device. And so whether it's a vibrator or an air pulse stimulator, you can control the whole thing right from your Android, Apple, or iWatch. You can even use their app to connect with partners and use disappearing messages. And say, if you ever wanted to end a relationship with another user, you can block them and your digital correspondence, like text or images, will be automatically deleted from the server. Ghost them on Satisfier. That's it. Oh, my God. What did you get from Satisfier? Well, I like this dual pleasure. You got the internal stimulator and the air pulse stimulator. Oh, you're getting everything with that one. You got it all. One-stop shop here and Satisfier. And and- I- you want to hear the best thing about this satisfier is offering our lucky listeners 30 percent off any satisfier when you go to satisfier.com and enter code mom 30 at checkout again if you're looking for one of our favorite new devices go to s-a-t-i-s-f-y-e-r.com and use code mom 30 for 30 percent off what a deal how's it going in your life Kamaruski. I have been getting a lot of uh, my boobs felt as well. Men should only know what it's like. You know, I, my nipples are actually very non-sensitive. We've spoken about this before. Dale, you got sensitive nips or no? Uh, I don't think so. Right now, I'm touching. I'm touching my nips right now. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I could feel it, but it feels like just the rest of the skin. I would like to know about the sneaky freaks. If any of them really get off, male sneaky freaks specifically. Some people do. Women do for sure. Yeah. When well, I was 12 years old, I could have an orgasm if someone touched my boobs. Yeah. Okay. A little you. nipple gasm. Thank you for sharing. Nipple gasm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Dale's giving me a look like, did she just say that? <laughs> uh, I had, you know, we had a conversation the other night with my sister. Uh, Pete, the, I, Pete Davidson came up, you know, the comedian. He was on SNL. Yeah, I love Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson, yeah. Love the movie. Yeah, he came up. My sister said, you know, that guy is the reason why there's the saying big dick energy. You ever heard that? Big dick energy. Is that, you, what, you, you, did you know he wasn't responsible for this? I, I didn't know that he, it was attributed to him. I guess but so. I've, I've heard it associated with him, yeah. Oh, you, okay, so it's associated. I, I'm not sure exactly. I would like to know how big how big it is well someone was like what well, how does he have such confidence and then someone's response was he's got big dick energy he he, he acts with such confidence because he, he knows he's got a he's loaded down there like and having the reverse of the napoleon complex exactly in terms of height okay got it okay so i'm think i'm sitting in the bathroom the other day and i'm thinking to myself you know we established on the show that dale and i both have run-of-the-mill dicks right we've talked we've talked and i'm starting to think you know, if if you're going around thinking, oh, I got a run of the mill dick, you're not got you don't have big dick energy going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know why you need to have your dick provide energy. I agree. I agree. You agree so with I your started, mother? So I started thinking about this. I was like, you need you know, this guy has been told, Oh, it's good to have a big dick all your life. And that just makes him irrationally confident. Do and you, then I started wait, thinking Wait, so you don't have that same feeling? No. What I'm saying is if I'm told any fucking story over and over and over again throughout my life, and so say like, oh, you know, if you have a nice Jewish nose, you're you're fucking a god, right? If I'm what? told this over and over and over again, I'm gonna yeah. have some fucking big nose energy, right? Right, well, like a like a handsome or an athletic man or something. If they're told all their life they're an athlete. They're, exactly, they're an athlete. Exactly. So I start doing nightly affirmations that you have a big dick. No. What? Yeah, because that's I, we've already established it's a run of the mill. It has to be something that you really fucking believe, you know? Okay. So, um, I think I'm I, I think I'm going to embrace this daddy side to me. You're a daddy. Big daddy energy. What? That's exact. B D E. Big daddy energy. But you're not a daddy. It's not that fucking funny, Dale. 
It, Wait, what? You're not a dad. Uh, no, in, 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 first of all, in a lot of relationships in my life, I do play a very fatherly figure. Are you talking about me? For you, for my brother, for my sister, for Dale, for, <laughs> for Buddy, <laughs> for myself, for Buddy. Actually, most relationships in my life, I'm more of like a, fa- a father figure. Should we change your name to Papa? The Big Papa. The Big Papa? That's right. Okay, from now on, it's no longer Cam, it's the Big P. And I'm going to keep fucking reinforcing this fucking shit. Are we on Cam's uppers right now? No, this is just, you asked what's going on in my life. I'm fucking doing nightly goddamn meditations and yeah. affirmations over here. And you're embracing the paternal side of you. Yes. The uh, patriarch of the family. Yeah, that's exactly right. I like it. Yeah. I, yeah, that's a new thing. You always were kind of like the dad to your brother. Like you would say when he was getting out of a car, make sure you say thank you. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I gotta. I, I, I pre- present soft on the outside at first, but then I actually have a daddy on the inside. A daddy on the inside. Big, D, big BDE on the inside. That's what I'm saying. I like it. You're not focusing on your dick. You're focusing on another uh, attribute. Yeah. Why not? Okay. You, you know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was that was, I wanted to share that, and I also wanted to share the fact that uh, we read Frank's Sneaky Freak Frank's web series. Oh boy, he Frank decided to send us my mother and me his web series. That's basically porn, gay porn. I I was very turned on by it. Yeah, it, it, it was. I never thought I'd be turned on by gay porn, but I guess I am. It was definitely titillating. I was, I was, I, yeah, I was feeling a little heartbeats. Were your, were your nipples feeling it? My, fe- my nipples, I don't <laughs> even know when they're there. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it was, it's, it's very good. I, uh, I can't wait to see what happens. But then I'm it. starting to listen. To, I, I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm reading this thing, and I'm, my mother's reading this at the same time. Who cares? I don't like reading the same erotica. As, we listen to fr- freaking Dipsy at the same time. I know, but when you're actually sitting there reading it. You didn't. I was not in the same residence as you when I was reading it. I just think it's a little unusual. You watch porn. I watch porn. I don't like don't. watching the same porn as you. I d- steer clear of the fucking. What is your favorite the porn? F- the fucking whatever the fuck casting, the, couch? casting couch. I don't know. Come close to that shit. Why? Because I know you fucking watch all that. Why are you laughing, Dale? I just I just love you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. We love you too. We anyway, love you too, Dale. What do you have a favorite genre of porn, Dale? Uh, I mean, kinda. I've uh, recently, over the past year, you know, there's a lot of porn going on. Uh, not a lot, <laughs> of, a lot of seeing porn going humans. On. So I've I've definitely found myself further down the rabbit hole than I, I it's used true. to. It, you get really out there. The next thing you know, you're watching like two rabbits fucking getting off on it. You know, what the oh, hell? Dale, are you watching the rabbits? Uh, no, no animals. Uh, I, I tend to skew human in my <laughs> porn. <laughs> so let's hear it. Um, I've been watching a lot of the uh, a lot of the, the, the webcam stuff. I've, uh, I'm telling you. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 you too? It's unbelievable. The webcam stuff. You're talking about like cam soda and that type of shit. Yeah. Well, one thing I like about it is that you can't fast forward to the good part. <laughs> You're sitting the there the what? whole fucking time <laughs> waiting. Is she going to take off her shirt? What's going to happen over here? The, the, there is some excitement to that. I get so irritated. I'm like, come on. I, I, I got to go to bed over here. I, I'm way past my bedtime. I love that you guys are both into this. It, but that's basically the casting couch. Except, Except it's a real fast, thing. But you can fast, fast forward. forward. You know, you can, there, there's no incentive to, to, you know. So you all like it very, like, authentic. So, like, it's r- real people as opposed to, like, manufactured porn that it's slick and it's glossy. And right. you kind of can tell that the pizza man really isn't that. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. It's a completely different experience. Yeah. Dale, are you tipping on the... The the stars. Oh, I'm a I'm a filthy lurker. I'm I'm <laughs> not. Uh, I don't tip. I I provide value by upping their view count by one. Oh, <laughs> oh right. my god! Yeah. So basically, you're a cheap cam guy. Yes. I mean, do you sp- how long are you spending on these things? I mean, it just depends on the on the given day. Oh, no, no wonder you up till five in the morning. It's either the you know it's short or long of time <laughs> i tell myself i don't i tell myself okay 12 30 i'm gonna end no past 12 30 and she still hasn't taken off any clothing i'm like oh fuck it's 12 45 we're still here so what are you mr big spender are you tipping not yet but not I, yet but because of the show the reason i got into this now is because we're started getting sponsored by cam soda 
And so I started having to research this. Oh, it's for research purposes. I did purpose. some fucking research. You rationalized the reason that you're watching it is because of research purposes. Yes. So okay. And now I think I get like, what is, what, is, what is the actual discount over here? I think you get $20 off. Or you get $20 free if you sign up with it's camsoda.com slash sex talk. And and so now I fucking think I'll be tipping. I, when I, I first a, told you about this, you yeah. were you were like, "Oh, don't do that." Yeah, I got a question about this. What? Now, for some reason, it's porn is like so. Rem- it's like there's a wall between you and the person doing the porn. But then when you get like uh, a real person, yeah, like on the cam soda, yeah, is that more or less bordering on you know cheating? If you were in a relationship, would you consider that to be cheating? Cheating is all about the contract that you make with the other person. So So it doesn't matter. For me, I wouldn't give a flying fuck if my partner (laughs) was looking at anyone jerking off or whatever. What do you think? I feel like it's just like watching someone play video games and on Twitch, but and you're like <laughs> tossing them some money. It's like, yeah, except in this version, you know, some boobs show up. You know, it's you same guys, same deal. You guys and your boobs. I, it Jeez. seems to me a little bit like it's it's kind of a, there's a very limited amount of things you can actually do. You get the same vibe. Cam, we interviewed uh, Cam stars before who say a lot of times they're just playing board games they're, they're yeah. playing video games they're 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 we do have an episode all about this actually yeah. where we do Wh- interview cam yeah which episode is it oh hey <laughs> it was episode 116 do cam girls make more money than surgeons and, and these I girls are fucking making bank I, I i was gonna say and i think the answer to that question is unequivoc- unequivocally yes yeah they're fucking crushing this shit wow it's crazy and yeah Anyway, we I could talk about this for days. I I'm pretty oh. fascinated by it. I like it, there is something so fucking compelling about the goddamn thing. Well, because there's an interaction, and if you go in one of those little private rooms, who knows what's going on there? I don't know. W- what do you think it is? Uh, what what goes on there? I, yeah. I'm not gonna even try to speculate what happens. But, I mean, I'll t- I I'll 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 speculate. What? Hundred percent that the girls just sticking shit in our or- every orifice possible. That's already happening. Well, it's when I think the idea is the person who's paying feels a sense of control because they're telling this person what to do Mm. as opposed to her deciding what to do. Yeah, there's more connection. It's amazing that people just really want connection. I don't know if it's connection as much as they want to dominate. I think for me, it would be more connection. You're going to sit there. You'll do what I would do. Tell me about your life. Did you have a hard childhood? No. I I think that the reason I I actually think the reason webcam is so much more popular than porn is because it's with porn you feel very removed from it like right. they created it separately it's all very far away whereas webcam you're like one degree away you could even easily type in and the person is talking to you which That's is the why I asked that question earlier that if you're in a monogamous relationship is that considered breaking your monogamous agreement. I give you the answer. I don't think it is. I give you the answer that I bet you a lot of people don't tell their spouses when they're doing this. It's a little bit different than an actual, you know, watching porn remotely and then having someone actually interact. It, yeah, it's like more sex you, work. Well, how would you feel like if your partner is paying to have some, as a woman, I would imagine, that unless it's the men, do they have cam? Guy? Yeah. Okay, so say you Whatever, you say the partner is paying and you're having monetary issues. Oh, then that's a big issue. Yeah, but that's like someone, you don't want someone going and fucking spending their whole, your whole life savings doing anything when you're or money, money in a issues. strip club. Yeah, or, or I mean, this is, the closest thing is this is a strip club. Yeah. So do you feel it's the same question? Do you think going to a strip club is cheating? Only if they're paying money. Okay. Well, if you're like Dale, you're just sitting and lurking. You're just sitting there lurking. No Let cheating for me. No yeah. cheating at all. No, you're 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 as honest Abe as they come. <laughs> honest Abe. Oh, so I was listening to another podcast recently, and a question came up that I thought we could ask our sneaky freaks. Yeah, I'd like to hear from you two and our sneaky freaks in the future. What animal, as long as there was consent of some sort, what animal would you most want to have sex with? What? Yes. How did that question come up? I was listening to uh, Dak Shepard. He asked the question? I, yeah, they were discussing it. 
which animal would you want to fuck if you could follow if you can if you had if consent, it was consent I, yeah. the consent is not the main thing that's preventing me from fucking an animal it's the whole what, are you gonna go running after the animal like a pig or something and chase them down and try to fuck them no i'm saying there are other reasons why i'm not fucking a pig what is that i have no desire to fuck pigs Okay, well, what animal would you like if to fuck? If I had to fuck yeah, an I animal. Yeah, I mean, we, we know, we've talked a lot on Mom's News, especially about people that have fucked certain animals, sheep, dolphins, you know, the whole gamut. Probably dolphin. Yeah, there's something about a dolphin. I, I was thinking the same thing, because I, I would think I, I, I don't know, I, I think if a dolphin w- was after me, like trying to fuck me, that means they got, they got consent, the dolphin had consent. It has to be an animal that's like similar in size. Otherwise, it's so tiny, like a little tiny kiwi well, bird or yeah, something. They you brought up fuck that thing. Yeah, they brought up the bonomo that because they're you know bisexual. And yeah, right, right. Fucking everything, but I mean that's still like a little, like a little monkey type of it's thing. It's a little tiny monkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could Dale, you want to weigh in on this? I'd probably go for some sort of like octopus or something what? just because i feel like oh. it'd be it'd be a nice texture and I, I don't think i'm going to be turned on by any animal that i'm having sex with well, you just so don't i think know. just just feel wise uh, right. something squishy and wait, wait, malleable what, what, wait, this is a great answer what because what, eight tentacles sticking in all different orifices I don't know, if 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 it's consensual i would assume that it's not going to hurt me so you know maybe a jellyfish i don't know a something. jellyfish yes yeah, something squishy is actually good it's like a fleshlight or something yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, you're turning that thing upside down, having those tentacles grab onto your dick. Oh my God, what's going on here? <laughs> you <laughs> really derailed us. <laughs> what, I mean, what, what's your animal? I would agree with the dolphin. I think I am a dolphin in a prior life, so I'll be very natural or a whale. Be very natural. It would be natural for me to be with a dolphin. Yeah, yeah, it would be. All right. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up and see what you guys thought. Mother, if if our sneaky freaks want to weigh in, how do they do it? Three one zero three five six three nine two zero. Text us. Give us a text. Mother, is it time for? It is. Mom's news. Mom's news. Mom's news. Mom's news is the segment of the show where my mother shares earth-shattering, groundbreaking, must-know info. Mother. And today is no exception, and I got it from Allure magazine. I'm going. This is actually. A real magazine, which is a, that's a shock and, and a great surprise. It's like you don't think the other magazines and publications are are not real. Uh, the last oh the last one I think was like Sunvolution some some bullshit. All right, well I thought that this is important because I want to educate you guys on, on some sex terms. Oh, you're gonna educate us? Yes, there's okay. 17 sex terms you are too embarrassed to ask about. Some of them I knew, some of them I didn't know. For example, the pearl necklace. And put, uh, do you know what a pearl necklace is? Yes, mother, we know what a pearl necklace is. Do All you right. know, Dale? Is this like an urban dictionary type of thing where it's going to be something like off the walls dirty and you're calling <laughs> it the pearl necklace or like a, a necklace made of pearls? Hey, I, I, oh, I think you've gotten in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a pearl necklace is what results when someone ejaculates on or around their partner's neck or chest, yes, so that the semen is roughly where a pearl necklace is when it's worn. Yep. Okay. I'm not a, I don't understand the whole semen on body thing. I I'm I'm agreeing with you. I, I It doesn't turn me on. Well, we're going to get on to another one then. Another seam, semen or ejaculate Squirting. Does everybody know what squirting is? Yeah, everyone knows what squirting is, mother. When a person with a vagina ejaculates fluid during sex. Okay. What's going on here? What about pegging? Yes, everyone knows what pegging is, Mom. What are we in the amateur hour? All right. What about scissoring? Yep. Scissoring. Got it. What about queening? It's just a glamorous name for sitting on someone's face. There's nothing more than that. I've heard that as well. You've heard of it? Oh, because you're a little authority now. How about (sighs) edge edge play? (laughs) Edge play, yep. Do you know edge play? I, I think I know what that is. It's just like you know, taking it close to the climax and then and then not on purpose. Oh, oh, mother. Yeah, he's pretty close there. Uh, that's the not means, that's not what I understood edge play uh, to be. A kinky sexual act to push your boundaries consensually to the edge, which can be exhilarating for some. Yep. Then how about figging? Oh, I have heard of figging and I don't remember what it is. 
It's the act of inserting a piece of peeled ginger into someone's butthole, which w- would burn, sting, and be quite painful. Oh, I don't understand why somebody would want a fig. I, I th- it's a little BDSM activity. All right. What about... It uh, actually probably is... No, I I was going to say it's probably good for you, but it's, I can't imagine that's good for you. I'm skipping away. I'm skipping around. I'm going to go to... Well, what is felch- oh, felching? Felch. It's to suck up semen out of an orifice using a straw is optional. For instance, someone may ejaculate inside their partner's anus and then suck their own semen out of the anus with their mouth. Oh. They then may spit, may <laughs> they may or may not swallow. Oh All right. God! Um, felching. Get, felching. How about? I've po- never done the felch. How about? Have you? Have you ever felched? I've never felched. I honestly, uh, technically, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I had a, a, a pregnancy scare where we both just kind of freaked out and were like, well, should we attempt to get some out? Like, I don't really, no we're, we're, way. we're not, uh, in the, in the, in the very, best state of mind oh at this my point. God. You thought and, that uh, if you pulled some of it out, that the remaining sperm would just, well, no, not just like, you know, it's a numbers game, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's statistically, if you remove some, you know, it's technically a smaller chance of pregnancy so we're like you know let's All see right. if we can get a little bit out <laughs> so you use it did you use yeah. just your tongue or did you use a, a straw uh that's a you know, long story short, there was no success at all. But uh, we, we <laughs> attempted uh, quite a few. Uh, well, you know, the regular mouth, the straw, the vacuum cleaner. Do you try to straw? We, we tried a straw, it just didn't do you anything. You stuck a straw in there <laughs> and tried to. A little bit, yeah. No it way. Was, it, it was you, horrible. Were you He's laughing? a professional. <laughs> it was. Was it funny? It was me. Of course I was laughing. Like, it was... The, oh, my God. I was cracking jokes the entire time. Like, this is so... It, it was objectively funny in the in the moment, but also terrifying. Wait, so you're fucking... How long after you ejaculate, you, just, you pull out the straw and you shove it in there and... It, it had to have been within 10 minutes. Like, because we... <laughs> this happens, we realize that the condom broke and we're like, shit. And then we're like, okay, we have to figure out how to... I don't know, like Get address this. And, and uh, it was at night. So like the, it was during college. So there was, you know, like the, the health center where you could get like plan B <laughs> wasn't open until the next morning. So we're like, should we address this now? Like this is, is plan, it, so, plan F felching. Yeah. I had to suck the shit out of you. Have you ever thought about using like a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't <laughs> know how dryer? she would have felt. A uh, blow dryer, I don't think would. Blow that Assist. shit right out of there. <laughs> what were the other ways that you tried to get it out? Uh, like, I mean, hand. You trying know, to scoop uh, it out? Just a little scoop. How about like <laughs> a how about like a, a, a rag or a towel? This is unbelievable. <laughs> it was again. It, it Did was, you try Kleenex? I. You know what? I I feel like we had to have. You know, like that's that's a pretty obvious. Uh, route this but is wild we it was it was a it was a it was a panic move you know oh it was it was God. it was not made out of uh rationality it was like you know what what do you do you do whatever it fucking takes to yeah. get that shit out I of there i did not expect that, that you were going to be saying that you did this uh but anyway, i didn't know there was a word if for you, it. If felching if you've been yeah, a felcher you've been a felcher from way back okay og cuck, felcher cuck holding does everybody know what that means yeah we got all right we got cuck holding because we've had professional dominance and all that um, we have fisting here, which we've already covered today. Oh, Frank. yeah, fisting. And then we have queefing. Yep, got the queef. Queefing is when air escapes from the vagina, often during or after penetration, and makes a farting sound. That's right. Um, and that that's it for Mom's News. Mom's News. Is it time for the oh. best part of the show? Of course. The part of the show you've all been waiting for. The part of the show that is currently waking up my dog. And then he'll go quickly back to sleep. The part of the show that will make your your juices flow. Your your dick stand on edge. <laughs> your you want to create your own cam soda channel. It's called Cam's Uppers, Uppers is the place to be. Fun living is the life for me. Hey, it's Cam's Uppers, the segment of the show where I share something that is very, very near and dear to my heart that I've been thinking about, a lot about that my mother typically finds boring or not fun or excruciatingly painful to hear. <laughs> excruciatingly painful to hear. It's, it's Cam's Uppers. That's right. Uh, this is actually it was this was prompted by 
our dinner with Sneaky Freak Frank, actually. Okay. He had a beautiful question that he asked us at dinner, which was, how do you know, how do I know when to trust my instincts and when to challenge my assumptions? What a beautiful question. It's a freaky question. It's a freaky fucking question because you can gaslight yourself. Basically, when should you trust yourself and when should you challenge yourself to do something new and different? I think I always want to challenge myself to do something different, but I don't because I know that my instincts are correct. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think you challenge yourself. You grow. Okay. Yeah. What do you think you do? Oh, yeah. I, I challenge myself and I... More often than not, actually, I, I'll I'll uh, challenge my assumptions even when I should be tr- trusting my instincts. I fall on that side of the spectrum, actually. Right. I think as you get older, you just f- you tend to trust your instincts better. Yeah, I think so. You so, actually can go too far in that direction, becomes st- yeah rotten, stale. Are you referring to me? You're just like stuck in your ways. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not referring to you, but that, that's what all you know, old crotchety people. That, oh, I need to eat at this time. Like you need to, uh, you know. I'm struggling with this right now because I have tickets to go to a music festival and I my instincts are telling me do not fucking go to this thing because there's a virus, a pandemic out there. And then my friends are saying you should challenge your assumptions. That it's not challenge your assumptions. It's, take, it's your risk versus reward. You got to right, make a decision. Right. Yeah. I'll put money on you not going. Yeah. Dale, <laughs> you want to put money somewhere on there? <laughs> You know, is, is it indoors or outdoors? It's outdoors. Well, I mean, outdoors, you know. Not I, bad. I feel like, yeah, that's it's the best case scenario. For it that is. Kind of thing. It's better than indoors. I just want to thank Frank for that wonderful question, and hopefully that will inspire you to question your own assumptions and the balance between holding on to your own instincts. That was Cam's Uppers, people. This Cam's Uppers. Uh, mother? Yes. I think it's time for our newest segment of the show, the time where we get Dale laid. Woo-hoo! Let's get Dale laid. Dale, what's the question you have for the pros this week? All right. So let's say I have a date coming up. Okay. Totally hypothetical. here, But uh, I like to think that sometime in the near future, I might have a date. Okay. So I'm thinking, you know, I lofty goals one th- right you know it's <laughs> setting the bar pretty high yeah. but um one thing i remember from you know my last dating stint and and it was a couple of years ago in college but um i felt like i had to go on a lot of dates before i got one that was good and so you know i end up spending all this money on these dates uh that don't go anywhere and there's awful dates and i'm oh like but my i'm God, you know the I'm, fucking story of my life uh, but i'm but i'm spending all this money on them i'm like Horrible. Uh, so so here's here's my question you know how do you save money on dates, and when is it acceptable to do so? Oh, Wait, what do you mean save money on dates? Love well, the question. I don't love the question at all. First yes. of all, Dale, don't be like Cam. What? Remember you took a group, you did a, you, you, you used a group on a date. Yeah, it no. was a fucking great idea. No, it is not a great idea. Phenomenal it idea. Is very cheap. It was a four-course dinner. And I found out that we were incompatible between courses two and three. Well, I think... And I was happy I didn't pay for the whole fucking thing. I have the answer to both of you guys. What? One drink. One drink. Yeah. You can never control how much another person drinks. Yeah. You you say, we're going to go out for a drink. And after that drink is done, you say, ah, guess what? Time's up. Time <laughs> time's up. Now, if you have a no, great... You don't do time's up. If you have a great drink, you can say, hey, want to stay, stay for dinner? And then you pay for the one time and then you'll see where it goes from there. Here's the answer, Dale virtual dates dates over zoom no yes facetime dates you don't need to pay a fucking thing that's oh exactly that is the fucking move you're teaching dale to be cheap no dale it's is efficient you don't need to pay it for anyone's drink yeah if you don't like that well that might be okay you have that an introduction to and see if you are yes. compatible or whatever but then after that they're going to want to meet in person right and then you take them to Costco. What? Costco's no. a phenomenal date spot. No, Free it is. samples. Oh my God. It's a great idea. No. Very not, cheap. I can't believe you would even suggest something. And you got like a lot of variety of, of food. Mind? No, you're not doing that. That's that is, that is something that I would do with these. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. That's you what get old multivi- people do. Gummy vol- multivitamins. You can keep it healthy. It's a great idea. 
may I suggest that you do not walk through Costco on your date? Although I did one time had a date. I had a date where I was meeting someone at Starbucks. And I guess we were meeting outside and all of a sudden I, we, I figured out who he was. And he goes, wait, we can't go into Starbucks. I see my ex-girlfriend in there. We have to move. And so he quickly runs into the grocery store and I had to follow him through the grocery aisles and we're talking through the grocery aisles. This was a date. What? It reminds me of your Costco date. I actually love that idea. It was a Walk, horrible idea. It walking was, through Lassen's, a beautiful no, this grocery was store. Walking through like a jewel, which is a typical chain not grocery as nice. store. No, not you got to nice. make it a nice grocery store. I love walking through the parks. Very good. Except the last date I went on <laughs> in the park during COVID. It was towards the beginning of COVID. I didn't want to be near anyone. We sit down. I. It was a little bench. There's not enough room. And it, <laughs> So you're I, too close? Too close. I brought a bottle of wine. I asked her, you got to sit a little further for me. So she, just be aware that parks how, pose their own challenge. How cheap was this wine? Uh, it was it was fairly priced. It was not in a box. I, yeah, I thought that's cheap, Mom. All right. Well, telling someone that you are going on a first date at Costco is cheap. I don't care if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. You're walking through Costco. Dale, do you feel sufficiently... Uh, Advised? I feel like I got some ideas. You think you know, you're gonna get late? I, I got the. Uh, uh, well, not, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I do not advise saying let's have dinner on the first date. Fuck that. It's too long. Too long. Yeah, and then multiple rounds of drinks. <laughs> I'm horrible. not even talking about the money. Yeah, that's exactly what we're worried about, mom. You're always worried about money, both. Like, that was the question. The oh, question right. is, well, how do I make sure that it's a cheap date? And then all of a sudden, like you wonder why it is that you, when you took someone to a juice bar, that it was went into the friend zone. Far- That's why the farmers market is a great place too, because you don't really need to buy anything. You can just sample a bunch of shit. Jeez, I don't like this at <laughs> all. You're teaching true. him. True. Although teaching during COVID, him. they don't like you sampling. So yeah. then I recommend going back to Costco. They don't give a fuck what's going on over there. I recommend that you just take your. Save up your dollars and take her out for a drink just to get to know her, and then you'll be cheap after that. She'll, All right, she'll find out about the cheapness of both of you. This is this must have come from your days as, as an accountant. Oh yeah, you know you, you yeah. learn the value of, of a dollar. That's right. <laughs> anyway. All right, uh, listeners, we got your texts. We oh, wanted to respond. My God, you sneaky freaks! This is from Jigaman. Well, Jigaman and I have been having a dialogue about whether or not he should take the vaccine. Okay. And I had suggested he'd, he'd, and we've read some of his prior Instagram messages in which he said that the women didn't want to have sex with him because he wasn't vaccinated. Oh, wow. Right. So I suggested that if he wanted to save the world and get laid again, he should start getting vaccinated. Get that jab. He had a phobia about getting the vaccine. He thought that his dick would shrink. That, and he he was also scared of uh, the needles. (laughs) <laughs> okay. So I got a message Classic. from him. I took the vaccine blindfolded. Oh my god! I feel like it made my Johnson get even harder. I can pick up a table with two legs in the air. I used to only get one up. It's crazy. If this continues, I'm getting the booster too. Oh my god! All right. So I wrote back it's how Johnson. proud I was. Very proud of him for doing this, and I didn't understand the whole. Uh, two legs in the air thing. What does that mean? He said it's a bar trick. When erect, I can pick up a table off its legs. The ladies are loving it. It could be the placebo effect, but it's working. What is going on with Jigga Man? That's that's big daddy energy right there. Yeah, you know that. Big dick energy big and dick big daddy energy. Dick that, energy. That, that is what we should call this episode. Big dick energy. What about big daddy energy? That's why I'm, I'm recoining oh, it. Here we why go. don't you understand How about this? I'm, I'm reframing. You, you're fucking recoining the term cougar. Can I do B D E? Yeah, we you, all know big dick energy. All right, but big daddy energy is how different. About big cheap energy, but when you're going to Costco <laughs> on that first date, it, that is actually a, a very good. Dads would do that. Dads make sure that the fucking family finances are in order. Am I right? No, that checks out. Thank you. All right. I'm glad the Jiggle Man is all vexed. Me too. I feel like I helped one person find see the light. You're tr- you're fucking one ending person. COVID. <laughs> one person at a time. That's right. Uh, we did get a couple TikToks from our wonderful listeners. Should we save it for next time? No. We should play one? Oh, yeah. We got to play them. They're unbelievable. Okay. So this is from Taryn. This is, I guess, an embarrassing story. Tell me your most embarrassing sex story. I'll go first. 
Back when I was in college, I had a phase where I was sleeping around, exploring my sexuality, if you will. So one night, I'm at this frat party um, that I got invited to by my RA. And this guy I've been talking to for about a week approaches me and says, Hey, there's an empty bedroom upstairs. Now this guy must have been, you know, a buck 90 soaking wet. Tall and just a absolute beanpole. But he's adorable and actually he's kind of just hot. He's really fucking hot. So we start getting into things and he asks me to ride him, like be on top. And at first I said no, because I knew what was probably going to happen. But this man starts begging me. Like, I'm talking full on, on his knees, almost pleading and begging me to ride him. And I'm the kind of person that if someone starts begging, I, I just melt. I have to do it. I can't. That's just who I, that's just me. So I get on top and I start riding him. We, we're getting into it. And a couple minutes into it, I hear a pop. <laughs> he freezes. Oh, no. I freeze. I try to gingerly lift myself off of him, to which then we hear a snap. Oh, no. <laughs> this man has now lost all color in his face, oh. and he starts screaming. So I scramble off of him as fast as I can so someone doesn't walk into the room and think I'm trying to murder this man with sex. <laughs> I leave the room, I call an ambulance, I ride to the hospital with him because he's in so much pain that he's not going to be able to explain what happened at all. So I said I would go so I could explain to the doctors. And let me tell you, the looks that we got from the emergency room staff when I told them what happened. <laughs> I have never seen professional staff try so hard to maintain their composure <laughs> and I've never had to sit in a room so filled with shame as they're trying to treat this man's broken hips <laughs> but to this day we still talk we're still friends he's married with like three kids now but we still talk and laugh about it all the time but yeah that's my story what's yours I oh. got I got one thing to say. Oh my god. This man will never let a woman on tap again. You know that. Broken hips? Both. Both broken. I never even thought of that possibility. Well. That's not good. That is that is disastrous. Your grandma broke her hip. I wonder. You Are think you, she was riding? I think she might have been underneath. Oh yeah, he was riding. That is fucking crazy. Wait. Wait, I think it's because she clearly wasn't holding herself up enough. She just let the whole thing fall on the hips. No, I don't think that is it at all. She was just saying he's very slim and slight, and she was maybe a bigger girl. And that's why that happened. It's not because she was... You don't have to hold yourself up. Yeah. No, you don't. Absolutely. I don't think so. A little of the weight is in the the shins or whatever, wherever you're... Depending on how you're riding. <laughs> Yeah, you're like this. I don't need you demonstrating. You're, you're fucking, you're riding, you, a lot of the weight is in the, the lower limbs. You're not fucking just completely flat on there. It's never been a problem for me. Let me just say that. I have never thought about breaking hips or getting my hips broken. Well, you're, you're, And now I, I will be very much on guard. Oh my God, I can just imagine. She's going to get on, let's let's get romantic, let's get on top. And you're like, oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm into the missionary put, forever. <laughs> forever I, and ever. I'm just going to put like little uh, a trapeze. silks. Yeah, so I'll hold her from silks. You, or you can get those bars that they do for the Thai massage. So yeah, that's exactly right. hang from the bars. That's exactly right. Underneath. Yeah, that's exactly that's, what that's we need. That's a good call. Wow, thank you very much, Taryn. That was an amazing, embarrassing sex story. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be our yeah, next... Yeah, I think that's it. ...our next Uber Lube question. So feel free to text us your embarrassing sex story at 310-356-3920. And by the way, on our Sex Talk with My Mom TikTok, we asked that question. Yeah, we did. We yeah, did. so you'll get more responses there. And make sure to follow us on TikTok. I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters for making this show possible. We love you so much. I mean, it's a beautiful community that we've that has joined, and 
If you want to be part of this community, please join us at patreon.com slash sex talk with my mom. There's a discord channel where you get exclusive access to this very fun group of friends that are actually playing uh, Jackbox on discord. I'm going to be participating. It's I so hope fun. You will. Yeah. I, I just love our patrons so much. They're sneaky freaks. If you want to be a sneaky freak, you can join for a very little amount of money. It just shows you're, you're supporting the efforts that we have here on our wonderful YouTube channel and on uh, the podcast apps. That's right. You can watch this, by the way, on YouTube, and you can see me demonstrating cowgirl to my mother. It's, it's painful but necessary. Thank you to everyone who's left us ratings and reviews. You can do so at ratethispodcast.com slash mom. I'll read one. I would love to hear it. Hilarious, educational, and endearingly human. Listen at first for the pure novelty of hearing a guy and his mom talk openly about sex. Keep listening for the hilarious and refreshingly honest relationship between the poters and now Dale. It's raunchy, fun, and surprisingly sweet. Five stars, video 010. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, video 010. Uh, and I think that that just about uh, wraps it up. We love you very much. Mother, sing them out. And let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and having big dick energy. B-D-E. Big Whoa. daddy energy. Thank you for listening. Dale, thank you for doing everything you do. We love you guys. We appreciate everyone. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. You are listening to a Pleasure Podcast. For more from our Sex Podcast Collective, visit PleasurePodcasts.com.